If you find yourself with a camera in your hand and want to learn how to use it, please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment below. Um, the, I guess that would be one aspect also, uh, if you shoot frequently with models of, of being able to work directly with the same model over and over so that you're building a tenure and understanding and expectation together of how you can communicate and, and build on what you have done previously so that you can get a similarity of quality in a shoot because you know how to communicate with that person well. Um, it's a little bit hard in doing that with individuals. And so that impetus is more, uh, it's, it's, it's important for us to be able to learn how to read clients or customers that are, are doing portraits, uh, quickly and being able to draw that out of them on the fly. But if you're shooting with, with models and you have that experience tenure, then you can do that by, um, your experience in learning how to um, call that emotion out through experiences you've shared mutually or those those type of, of mutual experiences, uh, uh, communication, mutual uh, understanding of words, phrases, that sort of stuff to draw a picture out so that they can uh, practice, they can put that emotion into their face, their body pose, um, the body language is so important in these aspects as well. But the, the whole entirety of the shoot itself is key to being able to communicate the emotion through your subject in the photograph being a model. Um, the aspect or the the ability of communicating through body language is the I would say secondary most important because the facial expression is super important it's, it's not just important it's if the face and the body language uh, the, okay so let me let me be clear here uh, complete a, a phrase before I move on to the next clarifying point. If the facial expression and the body language don't match, there's going to be confusion. Being able to match up the viewing customer of this photograph and the person being the model in the photograph is important. Um, knowing who or your, the client that your photograph is being imaged for is is huge to your production and how you communicate that because the ability for you to communicate the emotion to your model the subject that you're imaging in the photograph is good and key so that they can communicate that through your styling their body language their facial expression uh, the environment that is they are being imaged in is key for your viewing customer at the end of the the photograph when the photograph is produced and printed in a medium and ex, uh, uh, shown in the expedition uh expedition exposition um if you're doing some sort of of photo competition or exposition in an art gallery but the culmination here in a picture of three uh, as as best as I can explain it right now in in what I have prepared in my notes if it is not a portrait session if it is not a model involved shoot if it is in fact a subject of I'm sorry uh, not a subject an object a product shot um, and uh, at this point, broadly enough, the product shot could be uh, a landscape, a, a shot of the horizon, a specific tree, um, wildlife it could also be a part of it. I would suggest this, that the viewer of the photograph is, is more difficult to pin down um, is 
because there's not a quote unquote product that is being marketed to a group that the model may be exhibiting. Um, it is not specifically to please the person that is commissioning the, the portrait shoot. So you see how the, the audience is widening while we're also narrowing down what's being shot um, because it, it opened up with the portrait shoot. So you know specifically who's being imaged and you also know who specifically is, is going to be viewing that image in the majority of that photograph's lifetime to a model. So you know specifically who it's being marketed to, um, whoever enjoys um, the marketing pieces that that model is involved in or the product that that, the, uh, the product uh, that is being marketed to a specific group. So you would know specifically that, that group of society to whom that product is being marketed. Um, and now even more broadly, you know specifically your shot, the style, and the emotion that is being communicated, but there are so many more people possible of being able to view this that now your hook is important, your ability to communicate the emotion and the environment and everything else being congruent is, is important, but the communication of your emotion the story behind that emotion and the conclusion with being the the story being resolved into a con conclusion uh, for that photograph is good and key and proper enough that you have given every possible viewer a good hold on your photograph and what is being communicated and the best possible opportunity to see, to enjoy, and to have that resolution and, and looking forward to seeing the next image. But also being able to answer all the questions originally that the hook created. It's a difficult topic to put together <laughs> in this video. Um, the more you practice these three types of, of stories it, itself, the more you practice three, these three types of photographs, the better you will get at it. But we're also going to, each of us, each of us will need to study down and to very in-depth study these things so that we are capable of creating each part of the photograph the obvious going, I'm interested, I'm intrigued, but I don't understand this. So I, I go into the, the rest of the photograph. I'm not even going to go into the details of, of the story because we're going to dig into those later as these episodes unfold. But the, the key that I was drawing out in each of these three illustrations is this very thing. Being able to frame the emotion for and knowing who it's being framed for. In portraiture, it's being framed for the person commissioning the portrait. In uh, a modeling situation, whether the model is holding a product or the model yourself, uh, the model you have hired themselves is the way I should say it. Not trying to cram all these words together and making statements I didn't intend. If it's a model and you are hiring the model that the model is able to communicate the emotion that you have them set in for environment, that the props you have make sense. They are congruent with your emotion being communicated. If it is not involving a model and so it is just a shot with objects, uh, a scenery, landscape, whatever the case may be, the whole story, the hook, the plot, the twist, the resolution and the conclusion all need to be congruent enough in telling the story, reaffirming the information that has already been presented and giving a conclusion to it that is both satisfactory and giving the uh, lingering desire to see more. Being able to 
create that desire to see more of your work and to see how you have drawn these things together, how you uh, either pull together the pieces of the story and communicate that to your viewer, or you're able to create that story itself to be able to share that story with your viewer in a satisfying way. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing your comments down below and a thumbs up. And if you're not yet a subscriber, we would love to have your subscription and add you to our Photos family. Thank you so much. God bless.